constantly ringing. People needing their medications never stops. And that's tough on this independently owned pharmacy, which, like many of them, is short-staffed. Ever since COVID came about, it's much harder to find people today. And so the big question is, where did they go? Uh, and I don't think anybody really has an answer. Craig Scyther has owned this pharmacy for just about 15 years. He, one other pharmacist, and not enough technicians, he says, keep this place going, delivering the local friendly service his customers have come to expect. That also buys them a little more patience, he says, when it comes to any delays created by staffing challenges. The big chains like Walgreens and CVS are facing those challenges too. With COVID, all these things that have come into play, it's all... From the corporate perspective, they just put more and more on these pharmacists Mm -hmm. that have basically reached a breaking point. And they just basically don't have the support staff. Mm -hmm. They don't really have their corporate backing. Scyther says he believes it comes down to unfair salaries and uneven work-life balance. Issues, he says, stem upwards to pharmacy benefit managers. The big three are GoodRx, CVS Caremark, and OptumRx. When you get paid less than the cost of your medication that you buy from your wholesaler, that that's a problem. If you tell me that the shortage out there is because they're not pumping out as enough pharmacists, that's a complete farce. It's basically stems from the pharmacy benefit managers putting pressure on the corporate entities. They're squeezing everything that they can, but you can only squeeze so far. Competition is getting so fierce, Walgreens is offering signing bonuses of up to $75,000, a number reported by people familiar with the matter. That's on the high end, but Scyther says he would encourage any pharmacist looking for a job to consider everything that comes with it, including the pay. In Fort Thomas, Sam Neff, Spectrum News.